we want to find the equation of the function graphed here in blue using the sine or cosine function. We'll build our equation in one of these two forms here, where the absolute value of a is the amplitude, two pi divided by b is the period, c affects the vertical shift, and d affects the horizontal shift. So we'll begin by focusing on one piece of our function, which will resemble either the cosine or sine function. If we start at x equals zero, notice how this piece of the function resembles the basic cosine function graphed here in red. So we'll build our function using the basic cosine function as reference. Notice how the maximum function value is zero and the minimum function value is negative six, which means our midline would be y equals negative three. Which means we have a shift down three units from the basic cosine function and therefore c is equal to negative three. Notice the distance from the midline to a maximum is three units, as well as the distance from the midline to a minimum. So the amplitude is positive three. And also notice, if we take a look at the five key points for the basic cosine function, starting at x equals zero, we have a max, then back to the midline, then a minimum, then the midline, then a maximum. And our function follows that same pattern which means a would be positive three. If there was a reflection across the midline, a would be negative three. But in our case, a equals positive three. And again, because this maximum function value starts at the y-axis or x equals zero, just like the basic cosine function, there is no horizontal shift, and therefore d equals zero. So the last thing we have to find is b, where two pi divided by b is equal to the period. But notice on the right, we don't have one complete cycle of our sinusoidal graph, so let's look on the left. Notice if we start at x equals negative six and go to x equals zero with a y-axis, we do have one complete cycle of our function, which means the period would be this horizontal distance here, well from negative six to zero is six units and therefore the period is six, and therefore two pi divided by b must equal six. So if we multiply both sides by b to clear the fractions, notice how we have two pi equals six b, dividing both sides by six. We have b equals two pi divided by six, which simplifies to pi over three. Now we have everything we need to write the equation of our function graphed here in blue. We would have y equals a, which is positive three, times cosine of b, which is pi over three, times the quantity x minus d, but remember d is zero since there's no horizontal shift, we just have times x, and then plus c, and since c is negative three, we just write minus three. This equation would give us the graph of our blue function. Of course, this equation is not unique. We could use a horizontal shift in the sine function to produce the same graph. I hope you found this helpful.